Hello and welcome to your English News Broadcast live on Air TV. It's exactly 10.30 p.m. on Eritrea's local Greenwich from our headquarters at Asmara. With your domestic and international news in brief, I'm Zahra Baduri. But first, we'll begin with your major headlines for this hour. Commandable health services provision in Himbol Kajkaj. Efforts to develop politary farming. Soldiers arrested in Niger after attempt coup. The UN inquiry finds French airstrike killed Malian civilians. And more. Welcome to your domestic in brief. Himbolk Etchbet Health Station Karkabat subzone reported that is significantly contributing and ensuring the health of mothers and children. The comment was made by Nurse Madhani Gabrai, representative of the health station, indicating that the health station, based its regular health services provision, conducts awareness rising activity with a view to encourage the public to make a, make the use of voluntary counseling and strengthen participation in the effort to control communicable diseases. And Nurse Madhane said that encouraging development is being registered in terms of a behavioral change. The residents on their part said that the awareness rising program being conducted by the health station is significantly contributing and increasing the understanding of the residents on health issues and as a result result of the prevalence of communicable diseases is significantly declining. Himbolkachkach Health Station provides health services to residents of eight villages of uh, Yagre administrative area as well as Auga in Agurdat subzone and Ira in Ansaba region. Himbolkachkach is one of the 13 administrative areas in Karkabit subzone and has 560 residents residing in eight villages. On your final and second domestic, as part of the effort to develop politary farming, uh, the Ministry of Agricultural branch in Agurdat subzone has uh, distributed chickens to 239 farmers uh, at fair price. Mr. Kohob Futsum, a representative of the office, said that the objective of the program was to encourage farmers to develop politary farming activity and contribute a due part in the effort to ensure food security and stabilize the market. Mr. Kohob also called on farmers in the subzone to apply the advice they receive from agricultural experts regarding the health and treatment of their chickens. In related news, the Ministry of Agricultural branch in Foro Subzone also distributed uh, 3,225 chickens to 129 farmers. The branch office also reported uh, that the chickens distributed uh, to farmers are in good condition and called on the politary farmers to conduct routine follow-up on the condition of their chickens and their appropriate measures in case they observe any problem. The beneficiary farmers on their part commanding the support they were provided from the Ministry of Agriculture expressed readiness to develop their politary farms and contribute due part in stabilizing the market and thereby improving their livelihoods. Up next with your international news, do stay with us for more. And on your global report, soldiers were arrested in Nigeria after attempt coup early Wednesday, a security source said after gunfire broke out in the capital, Neymar, adding the situation and under control. Residents reported hearing overnight bursts of gunfire near the presidency. Just two days before, Mahmoud Bazoum is uh, Mohammed Bazoum is due to take uh, the helm of coup porn country. Speaking on uh, the condition of anonymity, the source said that there were some arrests among a few number of the army who are behind its attempt coup. Uh, the source further stated uh, that the presidential guard retaliated, uh, preventing uh, this group of soldiers from approaching the presidential palace. A resident of uh, Niamey's uh, Plateau District, which includes uh, the president's official residence and office, uh, told AFP that it, is, that it was around 3 a.m. when they heard uh, shots from heavy lights, weapons, and it lasted for 15 minutes before stopping. Following 
firing uh, by shots from uh, light weapons, as they reported. On the contrary, another resident uh, said uh, that the gunfire lasted about 20 minutes. Online newspaper actually reported dot com reported uh, that uh, calm had returned uh, by around 4 a.m. in the morning. It was uh, not yet possible to independently verify the location and timing of the videos. However, the alleged coup comes ahead of Bazoom's schedule in inauguration on Friday, the first election uh, transition in Niger's uh, history since independence from France in 1960. Proceeding, a French airstrike killed 19 civilians and three armed men at a wedding in Mali in January, a UN report says. France Defense Ministry disputed uh, the finding, uh, saying uh, that the three, third January strike target an armed a terrorist group. Uh, France has 5,100 troops across the Sahel region to fight militants uh, tied to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group. The UN carried out an investigation after locals alleged uh, that a helicopter had fired on people attending a wedding near Bounty Village in uh, central Mali. The investigation found that a wedding had taken place and there had been about 100 civilians at the site of the strike. AFP News Agency quoted uh, that UN reporters as saying about five armed people, though to be members of a jihadist group affiliated to Al-Qaeda, also attended uh, the celebration as reports came. The UN alleged uh, that uh, the group affected by the strike was overwhelmingly composed of civilians who are protected prisons under international humanitarian law. The report, the report however, further added uh, that this strike raises serious concerns about respects for the principles of the conduct of hostilities. In a statement, uh, France def Defense Ministry said it had numerous reservations about the methodology used by UN investigators. The ministry added that it maintains with consistency and reaffirms strongly that the airstrike target targeted an armed terrorist group. The UN investigation was carried out by the Human Rights Division of its mission in Mali, Reuters reported as Reuters news agency reports. It t its team, however, analyzed satellite images, visited uh, the area in late January, and interviewed more than 400 people. On your final global report, uh, studies find uh, destruction of uh, pristine uh, rainforest include, uh, increasing by 12% in 2020, despite global economic slowdown. An area of pristine rainforest uh, the size of the Netherlands was burned uh, or hacked down last year as the destruction of the planet's tropical forest accelerated despite a global economic slowdown, according to new researchers. The worst uh, losses were in Brazil, three times higher than the next highest country, the Democ Democratic Republic of Congo, according to a report published on Wednesday for Gro global forest watches based on satellite data. Across the tropics, the study registered the destruction in 2020 of 4.2 million hectares, 10.4 million acres, equaling of per primary forests 12% higher than the year before. Ecosystems uh, starting uh, the equator shall uh, sheltered uh, abundant biodiversity and store vast amount of carbon. In total, uh, the tropics lost 12.2 million acres, hectares of uh, tree covering, including forests and plantations last year, driven largely by agriculture. But researchers said extreme heat and drought also stroke huge fires that consumed swaths of forests across Australia, Serbia, and uh, deep into the Amazon. And on what's behind uh, the report, their losses are a climate emergency. They're a biodiversity crisis, a humanitarian disaster, and a loss of economic opportunity, said Francis Samoir of the World Resources Institute. The study found some evidences that COVID-19 restrictions may have had an effect around the world with an increase in illegal harvesting because forests were left less protected 
or the return of large numbers of people to rural areas. But researchers said that there was little sign that the pandemic had changed the trajectory for forest destructions and warned that the worst could be still to come if countries slash protections in an attempt to ramp up economic growth. Dear viewers, that is all for now with your domestic and international news in brief. Until we are back with some more news, stay and enjoy the rest of our programs. But until then, thanks for watching for now.